What up, playmates? All right. It's episode nine. Happy Halloween. It's episode nine. Before we get started, I got you guys some candy. What? You got me this candy? Happy, happy Halloween. I actually, oh. I like this nice kind Nice hands, of candy. feet. Nice hands. This is epic. This is, ca- this is actually Christmas themed candy, which is confusing. Yeah, it is. Mine's peppermint bark. <laughs> Mine's also, <laughs> well, all of ours are peppermint bark. Where'd you get all this peppermint bark? Uh, downstairs. <laughs> yeah. Thoughtful. All right, That's Everett, nice. let's guess what everyone is. Everyone, you have two seconds to guess what Rusty is before we tell you. Three, two, two one. one. Ice Spice. He's Ice Spice. Wait. Oh. He has W Giat this episode. <laughs> <laughs> I am three, two, one. Buzz Aldrin. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Collins. My hat is not seen. And Lauren is three, Look. two, one. BL's uh L L's no, not BL's above. That's the devil. I'm trying to think of that. What's that chick from Wicked? Um Els, El, I don't remember. Elsa? Glenda. No, that's the good witch. <laughs> oh. I don't know. Elves. Okay. All right, we got a really fun episode for you guys today. It's be insane. It's all Halloween themed. It is spooky and it is scary. We got scary movies that don't exist. Mm-hmm. We got candy that doesn't exist. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and as usual, we got some business pitches and we got some business pitches from you guys. Do we, Lauren? Do we, Lauren? Yep, we do. Right. Amazing. Let's go. Um, what order do you guys want to do this in? The, the world is the, literally our order. The normal order. Last episode was a nightmare all around. We gotta we gotta distance ourselves. I don't remember what the normal order is. Pitches. The normal order is we we guys, usually tell like a, like a quip or something at the beginning from like something that happened over the weekend. Usually we make it natural, but now okay, I've outlined. Well, all right. Can I just tell you what happened to me last night? Yeah, I think I told you this earlier, but I don't think you did. No, I had a dream, and and uh, or in the dream, I. Had this crazy experience and then reached or went and got my notebook and wrote down that I wanted to tell it on the podcast. So I woke up this morning. I was like, oh, I got that sick story to tell on the podcast. And then I realized it was all. Tell it was all tell fake. Lauren what the story so was. The story was, was that awesome I, I was on an airplane that landed in the Charles River. <laughs> uh, like, What's the Charles River? It's like the main river in Boston. Okay. But like you ever see like that, you know, that like plane that landed in the Hudson River? Yeah. It was like that. And then I, in my dream, went and wrote it down in my notebook, like, oh, I got to tell the story on the pod. Like, that wouldn't be, like, a life-altering event. Like, I'd be at work today, yeah. normally, if I'd survived, like, a plane crash. He was <laughs> he was telling me earlier, he was like, he was like, I was, the whole dream, I was trying to figure out why I wasn't in the news. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is so funny. Yeah. Um, but that didn't really happen. I, I was talking to someone last night about how there's probably a guy who, like, last night had to come up with names for candy like he worked at like nestle Mm. or something and that was like part of his homework and then there's probably a guy who works at like warner brothers that had to come up with like a scary movie title but today last night no no like like you know what i mean like someone whatever we are probably the only people in the world that had to come up with both that's true today that is true we're trailing ever boy did we ever i'm very excited about it um um yeah i started the wire last night have you guys seen the wire if I hear Will has not shut up about the fucking wire, no. and I don't, and I don't it, care. It, that's a terrible take. It's, Wait, I care. I no, no, no. I care about. I care about like you caring about it. But I just don't care about the wire. How, do you know anything about it? You should watch it. It's fucking fantastic. I have so many shows going on right now that I can't even fucking. What Temptation Island? Nope, mm-hmm. nope. Finish Temptation Island. I'm I'm balls deep in uh in One Tree Hill, inventing Anna, um, Drake and Josh. I mean, I'm, I don't fucking, y- I'm not I, I'm yucking not, your yum, but I guarantee the wire is better than I'm, at least half of those. I'm <laughs> drowning in One Tree Hill right now. I have never seen it. Bum, bum. You know, have you seen it, Lauren? Bum, uh, bum, bum. No. I don't want to be anything other, other than, than what, what I've, I've been, been trying to be lately. lately. Is that the theme song? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Song. Inventing Anna is very interesting. That was a good one. Here's yeah. what happened, though. What's so, inventing? She was kind of annoying, though. She is kind of annoying. So basically, very. it's this girl... And she's this, she's posing as a German aristocrat or like, or like heiress, I guess. And kind of like cons her way into high New York society, which is a pretty hard world to break into. It's pretty impressive that she did it. And, um, it's a true story. It's a true story. And she got caught in for like fraud and stuff. But here's what happened to me. I, I finish episode one and someone had been on my Netflix account, like, 
maybe I had started it years ago and like kind of forgot about it. But when when episode one ended and you know how there's the little bar that says like next episode in like three, two, one, it took me straight to episode four. And I and I didn't notice until I was like <laughs> until I was like halfway through episode four. And now it's like I already know what happens. That's brutal. In episode four. So like I can't go back. It ruined the series for me. Yeah, that's tough. That's you don't want that to happen. I can't I can't even imagine if that happened to me in the wire. Wait, what? <laughs> what is the wire? What is the I wire? I don't know anything about it. It's like a, it's I think well like regarded as like one of the greatest TV shows of all time with yeah. like The Sopranos and like Breaking Bad. It's uh like a it's about like the Baltimore. It's like a crime drama about Baltimore. Mm. I couldn't even. T- I've only seen the first three episodes, but it's great. I think you and I have had this conversation before, and I think this is this is a pretty common thing. I'm not the first guy to struggle with this. When when like everyone tells me like that I have to watch something it actually like does the opposite effect for me where I'm like because you all fucking like it yeah. I don't want to watch it and I like I'll probably end up watching the wire like when when you guys all cool off yeah. on it you know what I mean and I'll be like oh I should have watched it when you guys were watching it but like it just when when it's kind of like someone telling you you have to you have to do it it's like I don't I don't have to watch the wire I guess that's fair Michael with Jordan's in it what was that? Michael B. Jordan. Why'd you, th- why'd you, f- why'd you say it like that? The Did first I say time? it weird? I'm sorry. Um, I'm so invested in my goldfish. I turned my mic away, so I didn't know you guys were in- going to include me in the conversation. Cool. You uh, had your headphones yeah. That was like an audio thing. <laughs> yeah, it did um, sound a little like... It, it, <laughs> it was like you made it one, one word. Michael B. Jordan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Elba. Who does Michael B. Jordan play? He's like wire? a kid, dude. He's like a little... Oh, it's from oh like the 90s. I have seen The Wire then. He has dreadlocks? Yeah. Or cornrows? Yeah, cornrows. Yeah, I've seen The Wire. The whole show? No, nah, I've just seen an episode where he's like sitting on a car. Yeah, that's like every episode, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, should we listen to some fa- uh, friend? Pitch submissions? Some playmate, the, some some playmate. playmate submissions. What a playmate! Absolutely. We keep getting so many of them. <clears throat> we okay. also kept, I feel like I've noticed we get a lot of people submitting sayings that don't exist. We've never taken a, a submission on those. Maybe no, we, I think they just, I think they're just like, I want, like they want to flex their... Their muscles, yeah, yeah sure. which is fun. Okay, well, um, I, well, now you I, made it sound like I was shitting on them. No, 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 no. no, no. Um, <sighs> for everyone submitting sayings, thank you guys. We love reading them. It's yeah, fun. I, I want to just, I want to just get something off my chest here before we get into it. Um, I apologize for fiddling with my mic the entire episode last episode. <laughs> that one's on yeah. me, guys. And it was the first time that Will and I tried to, you know, self-produce, and uh, it's not going to happen again. We are very, we are acutely aware now of why Lauren has a job. (laughs) (laughs) We we get it. We get it now. All right. So our first pitch submission is from (laughs) Alien Insurance from Sean Gilbert. Yeah, I don't think we've heard it yet. I I, I can't remember if I read it or we talked about it. (laughs) Well, stop reading them. Okay. So for the low rate, for the low rate of eight dollars a month, we will cover any damages caused to you or your property by extraterrestrial beings. With all this alien hype going around, you have to wonder if one of these gray men crashes its UFO into my house, will I be covered? Today only we have a special deal. Bundle with supervillain insurance for the low rate of twelve dollars a month. If aliens are any beings with supernatural powers, feels like you're saying beans. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry, carry on. <laughs> Go. Lauren was the person that thought it was human beings until yeah, what? Like sophomore year. Like she's saying beans. Human beings. Move on. Okay, all right. Beans. Beans. Um, with supernatural powers who fight for evil, damage your property, you will be covered. That's it. I like it. I think there I are enough it. people that buy that that you could make a fortune. Yeah, I, I think here's here's it's a scam. What's his name? It's uh, Sean Gilbert. It's Sean, like a brilliant scam. I was gonna say literally the ex- or I, w- I wasn't saying Sean was doing, but I was gonna turn it into that. Here's what we do, Sean. I love your idea. Here's what we're gonna do. In the fine print, we like we say like they can only it only covers aliens from like a certain part of the galaxy. Like well, if, like we're like why. Because like ninety, there's a ninety nine percent chance that like it's just gonna come from a different part. And there's a one hundred percent chance that they're not gonna come to. 
You think aliens are gonna come to Earth? That's what I'm saying. Is like, is like in the fine print. So like, even if it, even if like they miraculously come here and crash in the house, we still are just raking in cash. Like, sorry, your claim's not valid. I, I would like to think that I, I would accept that we would go bankrupt if aliens actually came. (laughs) If I owned this business, I would, I would sleep peacefully at night knowing that. I also can't imagine that regular home insurance doesn't wouldn't cover that it would still just be like something crashing into your house yeah i mean i guess it's yeah also <laughs> like if aliens came you think some guys like oh great i get to file a claim like yeah aliens came to Earth, i think shit would hit the fan in a lot of ways so also if they got all the way here without crashing it would be hilarious if like they they got through the fucking ozone layer they got through the they got through orion's belt fine but like they can't get through <laughs> Brentwood without <laughs> crashing in here, <laughs> without crashing in your house. Um, I think it's genius. Though. It's great. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna make a lot of money. One's a fun one. Okay, next. I really hope. Did we not talk about that? We didn't. Okay, I would remember that. I would. Then I just read it and thought it was good, so I'm glad we brought it. Well, up. you did just get a concussion, so who knows? I did right before this episode. I hit my head the hardest. I feel like I've we're all being sassy with head. each other today. I can't figure out why. Yeah. Really? There's some tension there here for sure. Tension. Not, not here. It's, it's. It's this way, and it's and it's this way, and it's this way, and it's this way. Oh, so it's just me. It's, I don't feel tension. So I'm the. I problem. feel. I think you're just. You're just not. You're not. You're not tapping in. I'm. My head she's, feels. She's. She's kind of. She's nagged you like two or three times. Really? Yeah. My head is throbbing. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I nailed it on the ceiling like 20 minutes before the episode on the started. Ceiling. Yeah, it was like a part of the ceiling that was sticking down. And I was like trying to find. <laughs> I was trying to find revolutionary war costumes for us to wear for this episode because I thought it would be funny. And I hit my head so hard, I was like, fuck it, we're just wearing <laughs> wigs. Yeah. He came up, he it came up so with bad. with no costumes, and I was like, where, like, uh, did you find him? And his bell was clearly rung, and he was just like, nope, hit my head really hard, uh, just gonna sit down. I just sat on the couch and, like, stared straight for 15 minutes before this episode, <laughs> and I still feel like shit. You're so strong. You are so strong. Okay, that one I picked up on. <laughs> She's been fucking <laughs> nagging you this whole episode. All it's all right. right. All right. Next. Pitch two. Pitch number two. Okay, so this, this is a YouTube submission, YouTube comment. Thank you, Ray. Thank you, Ray. Um, So his pitch is a stage fright eliminator. Ooh. Okay. Yep. Here we go. <laughs> Pretty sure all guys know one of the worst things that can happen at the urinal is the inability to perform. Yep. With stage fright eliminator, you would never have to worry about this problem it works by stimulating the prostate i think okay what whoa <laughs> that took a crazy yeah job. that was <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even read this before Bon- uh, of course you did bonus well, well you were probably too busy uh let, let me why continue. everyone be nice to each other. everyone stop bonus feature you can cause other people around you to experience stage fright <laughs> additional feature you can activate guaranteed pee shivers every time you pee yep I love pea shivers. I can't relate to this, but... You've never had pea shivers? No. <laughs> what is that? It's like when you're... Like something when you're peeing will like make your body like... Yeah. In like a great way. It's like a... It's like a... It's like a back orgasm. Oh. I wouldn't describe it. Never, I don't know that I've ever really thought of it as like a great thing. I've just oh, really? It's part of it. I liked it. I always like it. Um, I, I un- I'm confused why... We have to go through the prostate, but I'm here for it. Yeah, I mean, it seems like, <laughs> I guess if he's done the work, if he's put in the, the it sci- sounds he, like he's he probably has a better read on the science than we do. I like it. I know, uh, Rusty, I know you're a big stage fright guy. I'm a huge stage fright guy. I'm pretty, pretty good in general. I, here's my thing. If I have headphones in, like if I'm at the airport, yeah, I could be peeing with no dividers, Yeah, anything. I'm kind of in my own world. I could, pee, I could pee on myself. There's something about... Like when I can tell that everyone around me knows that nothing's hitting the urinal cake. Yeah, and it's like I just fi- you ever see a guy it makes like you feel like a bad guy. You ever like guy you ever like you ever do the fake things. the fake shake like you finished and you kind of walk out like you did pee but you know you didn't. I I don't really st- I I'm pretty I'm a pretty. Uh... I did that once and then I the guy that was next to me at the urinal I could tell he knew what happened. Too. <laughs> We were sitting next to each other on the plane. Ah. And I was like, this guy knows that I'm a fucking coward. Never forget, one time uh, our shoes got so wet that Rusty boarded an airplane without shoes. And then the guy, was that the guy next to you or next to Chet? It was, it was Chester and I walked in 
We've already told the story, but it's a great story. Did we? Yeah. yeah but oh, it's, never it's, mind. All right, we should skip it then. The short version is Chester and I. Chester and I boarded this plane in just our socks, like we threw our shoes out, and the the guy next to Chester was like, "Did you board the plane? Did you take your shoes off in the airport, or did you come to the airport with no shoes on?" And then Chester told him, and then the guy took his shoes off. Yeah, he was like, he needed like validation. Yeah. Did we really already talk about this? Yeah, it was like episode one or two. Oh, it, was okay. good, it was a good All story. Right. Way back when. Way back when. The OGs will know. Yeah. Told that story. Yeah. All right. I like that one. I forget what it is, but oh, the P, the P one. one. Yeah, yeah. Stage fright eliminator. Stage fright eliminator. Thank you, Ray. Is it like a butt plug? I don't get how it stimulates your. Oh, it's like a butt plug. Jesus, that's butter. <laughs> it's a. It's mostly like a butt plug. <laughs> yeah, you're he's, like, you're caught on the net. <laughs> you're caught on the web. <laughs> he's, uh, <laughs> um, he's just looking for an excuse to like <laughs> to like make butt to like plugs yeah cool. to make vibrating butt plugs. Yeah. He's like it's a it's a um a, a stage a stage fright eliminator. <laughs> yeah. Um, All right. All right. I like that one. Our next one is from Logan. Or no, it's the Logan Brogan. Logan Brogan. On YouTube. That's a name? Well, that's... Shit, Lauren definitely added the... the. No! That... <laughs> Wait, Logan... His name is Logan Dude, Brogan? Dude, I don't know if that's his name. It was, right. That's his YouTube username. Oh, it's his YouTuber name. The Logan Brogan. <laughs> I hope his name's Logan Brogan. That'd be awesome. Okay, so his business idea is the sleep sponge. Uh, we I, are, I, you, it is rare to hear the name and have no idea where this is going. No, okay. we've already... I'm pretty sure we already did this one. What is it? I think it's the I think it's the thing that cleans your sheets immediately. Continue. Oh my god. We did this on the last episode, Lauren. This is why we don't use AI, Lauren. I <laughs> We forgive you. We forgive you. You guys wanted me to get that episode out in like five seconds. So. Yeah, that is correct. True. That yeah. is true. So I didn't have time. And we didn't want any mistakes either. <laughs> yeah. And we wanted this one to be perfect as well. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, now I'm going to have to find one. <laughs> so I'm, just... I'm just going to look one up. Fuck it. Okay. <laughs> okay, I got one in my DMs yesterday. And you... It's, a per- it's in my personal, so okay, you can't see it. Okay, send it to me. I'll just read it. Oh, no, I have to read Lauren, it. Lauren, read it. You have to read it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I haven't even read it yet, but... Oh. Here you go. Oh. That was sick. Thanks. Okay. I guess there's no camera angle that would have... Lauren's got it. All right. So our last pitch submission for the day is from Elsa Finstad on Instagram. Hell yeah. So she says, have you ever been out somewhere and realized that you forgot something? Yeah. Ever yep. changed your mind on something you didn't bring, but now you want? Yep. Yes. This is an Uber service that will go to your house and get you what you need. This, okay. is, this is fun. Uber fetch. <laughs> Body cam live feed to you in <laughs> corporate so they don't steal anything and you can watch them dig around your place to find it. Simple keywords like red phone charger by bed so it's not super c- convulated and confusing. Convulated? Convulated. Con- okay. Convulated? I don't uh, know what that means. Convulated? Convul- convoluted. 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 Does it say convoluted? Convolute, convoluted. <laughs> there you go. Um, there you go. I'm sorry. What did I say? I don't Con- know. I don't you remember. said convoluted. convoluted. Well, I'm going blind. That's so okay. That's what I'm. We going. all do it. That, yeah. We're all blue. We're all blue. And we're okay, all going all right. blind. You can also have them search for something you lost with generic questions. <laughs> Your unhelpful friends would ask, like, "Where did you last have it? And what does it look like?" But they have a bonus incentive to find it to get paid more. And if they can't find it, they will go and buy you a new one and charge you through the app. Okay, I like that. Also, if you realize you have it, you can cancel and they can just chill at your house till they find a new client. Great. <laughs> that seems like an unnecessary addition. No, no, no. Yeah. Great. I don't know why we're helping the drivers out so much. <laughs> and he could have a soda from the fridge. Yeah, yeah. Um, she says, She says it's great for vapes you think you lost but find in your pocket. Mm. Definitely not sure how they get into your house and how long this process takes. Yep. But I think... Of this every single time I'm out. Great pod. Love you guys. You're my fave. Um, oh, yeah. Thank you so much. We love you, too. Love you I too. will I, I will say, ki- kind of exists. Like, you can do that with Uber. They just can't go into your house. You have to have, like... like well, that's the whole premise. Okay. You have to have, like, a person there. Uber. You have to have, like, your buddy drop it yeah. to them. I had my passport... Uh, one time I was at my sister's house in Silver Lake and I forgot my wallet. It was when we it was when you and I lived in on Clubhouse. Yeah, it was epic. And uh and the Uber driver drove an hour with my passport in a 
in an yeah. iPhone charger box. So that That's he, hysterical. So that he wouldn't think it was my passport. And oh, you can steal, steal it. it. Yeah, Billy Langdon put it in a in a like a discreet box. Um, I had to get a key to it. One time, I like went. Ho- I was at my buddy's and I like went home at the end of the night. And I was like locked out of the house, and so I had to get him to send me my key. And I like when I Facetimed him, he was eating Pringles, and I was like, "Yo, toss a couple of those in there." Like, I, <laughs> I was just like kind of in passing. Uber guy c- pulls up. He hands me a Ziploc bag with five pizza Pringles and the key. <laughs> and he's just like laughing as he gives it to me. That's he's like, kind of awesome. That'd be funny if, if he couldn't see the key. Yeah. He's just, and he, he just thought, thought just you, you were, he was like, you easily could have walked to the store. Yeah. Um, what's her name again, Lauren? Um, Elsa it was Elsa Finstad. That's, uh, that's a, I love Uber Fetch. Yeah, I think that's great. All right, who are we invested in? I think I have first pick this week or no, no, no. No, it's your turn. It is my turn? Okay. Yeah. Um, what did we have again? We had Uber Fetch, Uber Fetch, Peace Stimulator, Peace Stimulator, St- Stage Fright, Alim- no, Stage, stage Fright, Alim- Alien Insurance, and Alien Insurance. I'm gonna go. I I have to go Stage Fright Eliminator, even though just because just out of solidarity for another guy that has to go through that because it's not fun. Yeah, I think that's that's smart. I'm gonna go Alien Insurance. I think it's an actual gold mine. I think you, I think you could actually make this and sell it to delusional people. I mean, it's like, yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right, I'm it's going cool. to Uber Fetch. That's, that's what I wanted, so perfect. Sweet. All right. Should we, well, should it's kind of like, can I just say one thing yeah. at risk of getting, uh, the alien insurance is kind of just what organized religion is. <laughs> that's c- yeah. uh, it's certain. It's like profiting it's, off of something that probably is, as far as we know, might never happen. I would say it leans a little more towards a certain religion than others. A certain religion that's not really real. Where, like, you, well, we, they're all this. I mean, as far as we know, none of them are. <sighs> yeah, but one of them's definitely more alien-centric. Oh, I see what you're saying. I see <laughs> yeah. what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all right, should we pitch each other? Yeah. All I right. Like that. I'm going to start us off. I have, to, I have a confession. All of mine today are the most narcissistic. They're all about... They're all about me. I thought you were gonna say they're all pee or poo related. No, none of them are pee or poo related. But they're all like, actually, I guess, I guess, like, they're all about you. So it's well, like so that's yourself. about me. you, you, you. Like, like they're like podcast idea. Just let's just see what we got. I got Google. <laughs> that one's about you. Yeah. It's uh, it's Google for things specific to your life. Examples: How many drinks have I had in my lifetime? What's the biggest poop I've ever taken? I just said that none of them are poop related. <laughs> How many times have I almost died? Who's the hottest person willing to hook up with me? <laughs> um, have any of my actions led to someone's death? Like any, like oh. well, I. So <laughs> that's a crazy one. I don't think I. What know sparked? That. What sparked this was I saw a tweet about a guy saying like I wish I could Google what my neighbor does for a living. So I want to get. I want to <laughs> give. I want to give that person that's very credit. Funny. I forget who it was, but it was it was really funny. Um, I like it. I like. Dylan was saying he would use it and search like who who are my like secret admirers. I think you'd go crazy with this, where you'd be like, you'd never leave the computer. You'd just yeah. be googling shit all the time. Yeah, I would want to know like like where I've yeah where where you've what where I've been in all my <laughs> dreams. Where oh I- yeah, what would you Google learn? Um, I'm trying to think. Probably something about like secret admirers or like yeah. who who won the Civil War. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> can you imagine you get guy you gets get, Google and guy totally gets Google and just starts googling normal top things. ten quagmire moments. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, would you guys want to know? Like, actually, this is. Would you guys want to know like what age you're gonna die at? No, no. It's gonna be. It would It'd be so out. concerningly young. Yeah, it would be like, <laughs> like twenty five. Well, 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 it's like this year. Yeah, like, oh. like oh, I just don't want to be alive anymore. Actually, um, Google. How do you spell that? Y o y o u dash g l e. Google. Sounds yeah. like a Black Mirror episode. I think you're gonna say something else. It sounds like a what? I don't know. Okay, I like that. I like it a lot. All right. I got s- snakes. 
<laughs> Snakes? Yeah, the, yeah, the bikes for snails. <laughs> Think about it. No, 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 no. Hear me out on this. We have no idea what they are capable of as a species. That's true. They're way they too m- slow. They move so slow that way they haven't even slow. had like they couldn't develop. Maybe they could develop civilizations. Maybe they could eventually talk if they were able to socialize enough. But <laughs> we don't know because they can never get any. They move like eight inches and then they die. And so, how with, like how far do they move in a lifetime? Eight inches. I just said so. What? Like no, well, like, that was in, re- like in reality, like if one wanted to get from like me to Lauren, is that like a day long process? I don't know. Seems like it. I'm a, it in in my mind it is. But if you think about it, like what, like if you're in playing Pokemon and like your guy's walking too slow, what do you need to get around faster? A bike. So if you give those to snails, it's like a huge. Yeah. I'm rocking with it. Yeah, you guys hate it. I'm gonna go no, on. I like it. I like it. Okay, I, like I just it. looked up how far do snails go in a day, and it yeah. says a snail can travel an average distance of about 50 to 100 feet in a day. <laughs> wow. Like 30 yards. That's pretty far. Oh, that's really cute. Good for them. Yeah, but like <laughs> re- relative, that's like <laughs> like how long is a snail? An inch? Uh, snails. We're, we're like 72 what, inches. How old is it breeding or is it in heat? Is it in heat? Is it in heat? <laughs> when they're um, in heat, they're, eight, they're All right. They're I got... Snake. I got 7D movies. 7D? 7D. Seven dimensions. <laughs> so here's the idea. Um, you're dropped into the world of that movie. Yep. And you're not confined to like where the camera is. Like You can roam freely... You can see what other characters are doing, like when the camera's not on them, and you can get kind of like the full picture. I would mostly only, I would probably only use it for Harry Potter, just because I think what I, my thought process was like, other people can use it for whatever they want to like figure stuff out. I would just want to hang out in, in like Harry Potter world. I agree. I, I, I do think it would be really funny though, because I feel like you would end up missing like major plot points because you were just like, at the cafe across the street <laughs> yeah. or something. Like, whoa, whoa, he's uh, yeah. He hath returned. I like, guess you get like I guess you get like text updates. You get like maybe maybe there's like a like a little thing that you could see that's like this is where you should be if you want to follow the story, but you can yes. kind of do your own thing. Yep. So I you think you also choose. You have the headphones on like you're on like a tour in a museum. Okay. Yeah. yeah where yeah. it's like Harry's Harry's and Voldemort's beams are locked. Their beams are locked? You know when they do oh, that when thing? It's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Actually, I watched the Half-Blood Prince yesterday. It's a good one. Or no, I watched Order of the Phoenix yesterday. Sorry. Well, the one where, they're, the one where their things lock is actually Goblet of Fire. Uh, Dumbledore and Voldemort lock beams in nope. oh, Order well, of Phoenix. I just literally wasn't talking about Dumbledore. And I said Harry and Voldemort. So. <laughs> so what I thought of when you brought up this idea was, you know in Percy Jackson when they go into the it. casino? Yeah, the, Lotus Percy Jackson. the Lotus... Yeah. It's the, the lotus flowers. Yeah, the lotus. So I was obsessed with that scene when I was a kid. You need to watch. Can it. you explain it to me? It's like um, put up a picture of the lotus flowers right here so I can watch no, it later. It's called the what is it called? The lo- uh, hotel lotus hotel or lotus casino or something. It's like it, they they eat these lotus flowers. They're basically like drugs. No, it's and, called the lotus though. Or something. I don't know, but they eat these things and then they're stuck in this casino for like weeks and they think that it's only like minutes or hours yeah and Ooh. i remember when that scene ended in the movie i was like what like that was sick i want to like be in that scene forever so you would want to go there i think that's like a track like no it's it like looked a- but it was just like cool and it looked like was it yeah. a good vibe yeah were they drinking no they were like teenagers yeah but like there's guys in there that they're like what year is it and he's like 1938 what do you mean and oh because like, he's been eating lotus flowers yeah they just like yeah, keep yeah. eating that i don't know it was, it's a cool scene you need to 1938 watch it. yeah 1938 i'm from the 1900 the guy doesn't realize that people keep coming in like increasingly weirder and weirder clothes every yeah yeah, two yeah, yeah. he's like wearing like an old mining outfit <laughs> um all right willie what you got wait no, no no what movie would you drop into I would drop into star wars obviously and i would just go to Thede, which is like <laughs> the capital in the boo and just hang out it's like a be- the you know like where you wouldn't go to that pub and start fucking drinking most precisely no it's like the gutter of the galaxy I'd go to yeah but that place looks like a fucking lit I think I'd dive bar I think it'd be smelly you go to Theed and you just vibe out or you check out course would you try and hook up with Padme oh my god a hundred times over I I would try a hundred times over until she said yes I and if she I don't. 
Yeah, she's my. Who was this? Natalie Portman. Padme. Oh, eighteen-year-old wow. Natalie she's, Portman. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She's, she's a hottie. She's eighteen, twenty, and twenty-one. We googled it on. I know, and I Saturday. said when we were talking about it, I said Attack of the Clones, which is twenty. <laughs> she, when she was twenty, I'm twenty-three. She's twenty. I think that's. It's fine. Fine. She's so hot. Yeah, she is really hot. Um, do you think she's the hottest character in a movie ever? In my personal opinion, yes. It's like her She's like or, my number one crush in the history of the world. It's like her or like the mom from Paddington. <laughs> I haven't seen I Paddington. I haven't seen Paddington either. I don't know. <laughs> mom um, from The Incredibles. Yeah. Alas, I tried to make... So Will and I... You know how Will and I picked each other's costumes for Halloween to have that makeup artist come in? Mm-hmm. I was going to make you Elastigirl <laughs> and like give you a big butt and boobs. But then that she was like... She was like, it wouldn't be like that long of a process. Yeah. Because, like, the whole point was, if you haven't seen it, Will and I put, like, pretty elaborate prosthetics on each other's face the other day. And she was basically, like, it would just be a mask and a wig and giant butt and boobs. Well, you had the boobs. I did have boobs. I was slutty Darth Maul. Yep. And Rusty was Rango. And let's just say we were the life of the party, except that we were both so wildly uncomfortable that we left. So I left six. I left at 9.06. Yeah, I Go said ahead. I walked in, said hi to Lauren and her boyfriend. I said hi to Will. Or no, you and I went there together. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we did say hi though. The amount of people that texted me and were like, because I told them I was going, and were like, "Hey, where are you?" And I was like, "I left." And they're like, "It's ten. Yeah. All right. What do you I got, Willie? I got Rufumba. Rufumba is like a Roomba, but it it's on the ceiling. And it has like a tractor beam, <laughs> and so it like goes around your house on the ceiling, and then when it sees like trash on the table, it goes and it like sucks it up. That's awesome. So it cleans trash off of like the sur- like tabletops, <laughs> your mantle, your counter, your. So is it like a long claw that just like extend? extend no, it's a it's so a tractor beam. I don't I don't know what that is. A re- it's like an alien wow. has the, an alien UFO oh, has it sucks that sucks it up. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's not like a physical. <laughs> it's just like. Boom. <laughs> The audio can, listeners are having a blast. Yeah, right now. I can pick your clothes. Keep going. Ruining them. It can pick your clothes up and put them in your, your laundry pile. Oh. And if you, you got a program where your laundry piles is, and that part is really confusing for some reason, the programming part. Even though the tractor beam technology is super advanced, the laundry stuff is really I hate rudimentary. It. But I hate when that happens. Yeah. No, I don't hate your product. I no, I know. I love I your know. product. You hate um, me. That's Rufumba, anyway. Rufumba. I thought you were going to say it was like a Roomba that like cleans the leaves out of gutters. <laughs> that, well, that was my... Okay, you spoiled my next idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wrapping up mine of the, of the narcissistic uh, ones. Hulu. It's Hulu, but it's all about you. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's basically... It's a show where they hire actors... And each season is a year of your life. So season one is the first year of your life. Season seven is your seventh year, so on and so forth. And it, it's like the most important moments from your life. And you can go back and like relive cool stuff that happened in your life. And you get to watch a, a show about your life. I think that would be really scary. Yeah, I agree. Why? I mean, is it like, is it like do they only do like the cool parts? No, I mean, it's accurate. How much scary stuff's happening in your life? No, then I just don't know if I'd want to watch a show about my own life. Really? I'd watch every, I'd watch, that'd be my favorite show. Huh. I think I would watch it if it was like my childhood and like maybe like high school, but I don't need to see like recent stuff. Cause that's no, like, I, you're obviously not watching season 23 right now. It's going to, you're watching yeah. like, you're, you're, you're watching season 14, baby. You're watching be, season like, 18. Okay. That sounds fun. Season 18 would be fucking lit. Yeah. That'd be insane. Just discovered the, the fucking. Season 18 actually would be crazy. Season 18 would be a fucking... Season 16 would be crazy. What was happening when you were 16? Just like... Cool shit. That was when you were goth, right? (laughs) You were goth, Lauren? No. Yeah, she remember? She had like... No, no, no. We don't Um, don't talk about it on the podcast. uh, No, season... Season... uh, Like, dude, you're you're like reminiscing about an old relish. Yeah. Pop back to season 12. Yeah, that'd be like... Not season season 12. Season... (laughs) Seven, Nine. Well, yeah. Season 17, I don't know. Seven. I would go back to sixth grade. Yeah, sixth grade, sixth grade was, was like time. literally one of the, probably the worst years of my life. Oh, really? I mean, I was just like, you can't do anything. You're just confined to wherever like your babysitter is taking you. 
<laughs> you don't have any, you I feel like I was just a free what? for all, like going everywhere by myself. I, like I, didn't, I don't think that I felt confined by it. Yeah, but like looking back, dude, you know how much freedom you have right now. And going back to being in sixth grade, it was like you had like you just had like you'd come up and like do homework. You were definitely like a Kumon kid. Kumon? <laughs> do you, you know, know what Kumon is, Lynn? <laughs> that is spot on. Were you, were you not a Kumon kid? I don't know what that is. Kumon. Is this, this going to be like Kumon your face? Like I, thought, I thought it was like Candace. No, no. Kumon is. You were like a Sugandese kid? <laughs> <laughs> no, Kumon is. Uh, you like kids would go there after. It was like the kids went after their after school to get like more school. Mm-hmm. Kumon? Kumon. How do you spell that? K U M O N. It was like an after school program? Yeah. yeah, but it was like, it was just like fucking. You'd go in there and they would just like grind you. <laughs> what? <laughs> I know. I went. That's I went true. home, oh, and I would play in the alley. <laughs> the alley. Where did you leave? L- live. Where did you leave? I live. L- I lived in a house. Uh, what alley was nearby? There was like an alley right behind it. You like all the houses on Virginia Ave had an alley, and we are on Northwest End Ave, but it kind of intersected. And so we would all the kids in the neighborhood, like on both, on two different streets, shared one alley. So we'd all you guys go, go back and, there and play like stick ball. It, uh, I, yeah, I mean basketball. Uh, we built. I feel like I'm not. Pi- I feel like I'm picturing the wrong out, like the wrong type, wrong type of alley. What? Uh, it, I had alleys all over. Yeah. Where what? I grew up. Alleys. What? Yeah. Is, why are like you gar- so like sh- garages that are in the alley? Yeah, like an alleyway behind your house. Do you not know? No. What is going? What do you what? picture? No, no, like I know, like an, what an alley is, but like an alley is like where people get like stabbed. Oh, in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, no one. No, no, no I'm saying like I'm alley. saying like where like I guess you guys it sounds like you guys lived in like a more urban environment than I pictured. Mm. Yeah, I mean it was yeah it was in the city. I was not. La- <laughs> Lancaster is a city. Lancaster is a city. Yeah. Like is it like bigger bigger or smaller than Portland, Maine? Uh oh god I don't know Portland's growing a lot right now but I would say they're probably comparable. Cool third business pitch what do you got for me? Uh okay I got oh god I'm I got just, alleys I'm trying to <laughs> I feel like we keep go- going down like such deep little holes into like the most random I like it yeah well it's kind of I fun. mean that that kind of blew my mind but I guess I guess we were just operating I, I kind of I feel like all I'm right. spinning all over the place. I, <laughs> how do you think I feel? Uh. uh all right. Whatever. It took me a second to remember what this meant, but I have blouch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you didn't write an explanation. You just like yeah. I just wrote. I wrote snikes, roofumba, and blouch. Like if someone read that my notes <laughs> for this, they'd be like, all right, this guy's this guy's going fucking crazy, or he knows a different language. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like oh, I found like a Flemish person's notebook. Okay, here's blouch. Yeah, that's, that's like the only language it could be. Uh, <laughs> I'm just oh my god uh okay blouch we ah do you hate don't you hate having to I, every every night with my roommates we like get blankets out with my roommate chester and we watch tv and then in the morning there's like piles of blankets and then it's like you fold it and drape it back over the couch and it's just like this endless cycle of draping blankets every single day folding draping blankets <laughs> And one of them's weighted, and it's kind of annoying to, like, fold a weighted blanket. So the blouch has, like, a, a blanket that it's like a couch, and you lay down, and once you're, like, ready, you just, like, press a button, and it goes, like, and it, like, shoots a blanket out over your legs. And then when you're done, you just press it and goes, and it sucks right back into the couch. <laughs> what is going on? Um, Does that's that one suck? Of the, it's just, like, one of, like, the, like, yeah, it's a good idea. It's one of the one of the one of the wilder. Wait, wait, wait. That doesn't feel even remotely. Wild. We had a we had one that was stimulates your prostate. <laughs> this I just feel like wait, so the blankets are like hiding away. They're tucked into the couch. Yeah, they're built into the couch, and okay. they shoot out the top of it over your legs. Um. Okay. I just feel like it's, I just feel like like maybe maybe I'm not using blankets as much as you. It doesn't bl- like getting the blanket out and. Then, like, putting it back away after I'm done with it is, like, not... It doesn't sound like I am having as hard of a time with it as you are. Yeah. I kind of like yeah. the aesthetic of the blanket over the couch. I do, too. So. Yeah, I drape it over the, like, ottoman. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That was business, bitches. Houston, we have a problem. 
Get it? Because I'm an astronaut. Should we do? Uh, should we do? Lauren s- liked that one. Give me. Give Lauren's me. laughed. Lauren's been laughing for the last four. Give minutes. me a cracker. I've been laughing this whole time. I told you in the kitchen. Crack me. I told someone in the kitchen. That was me. <laughs> yeah, I told you that I was in a silly, goofy mood. I know. I feel. I feel. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Lauren's just dying. La- Ooh. Oh. What? All right. How did that do that? It was not that crazy. Oh. All right. What the hell? What the hell was it? I'm trying to talk to you. Do you guys want to? Do you guys? This is going off the rails. <laughs> do you guys? I kind of feel like I'm losing my mind right do now. Do you guys want to do scary movies that don't exist first, or candies that don't exist? Candy. All right. All right. Really, I started pitches, so you start the candy. All right. These are candies that don't exist. First up, I have candy cornbread. <laughs> Everyone loves corn <laughs> candy. <laughs> Everyone loves candy corn, but what if it was in? A big loaf. <laughs> you would test bite chunks out of. It's just a oh. big loaf of whatever candy corn is that you take just big bites out of. Is it not? Why can't we just, why can't it just be like banana bread with like little chunks of candy no, corn instead of like the whole thing? Then made? that would be bread and yeah. it's just candy. Okay, that's fair. It's a full sized loaf of bread though. All right. I <laughs> did you say that everyone loves candy corn? Yeah, yeah. I was kind of joking. I hate it. Yeah, really. So. That's I, I love candy corn. Really? Yeah. Would you take a bite out of a loaf of it? Mm-mm. It's way too much of it. Yeah. All right. I got little stinkers. Magic blow pops. Okay. <laughs> Each blow pop is made of a random sweet tasting potion. They're not labeled, um, so you don't know what you're potion. getting, and they last like thirty minutes. So like, like in like a pack of twelve, there's like. There's like flying. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah, like there's like you like you have a potion like you have a power like a, a super magic power. thing that happens to you for thirty minutes like love potion. Uh huh. Um, um, love potion. All I got right now is flying in love. But you get the <laughs> you get the gist. Baseball. baseball, yeah, baseball. <laughs> You're just nasty. Um, what what other ones? What other what other potion? Oh, <laughs> you just fired. No. Uh, this feels- <laughs> dude, this is crazy. Right. Yeah, I, I kind of can I go pee real quick? Yeah, sure. Did, <laughs> you, did you pitch another one? No, I haven't done a second one. <laughs> okay, that's where we're gonna start it. Right from that. Okay, I've got Crips Ahoy. It's the first. Oh God, it's the first candy marketed to a gang specifically. <laughs> it's kind of an untapped market. It's an untapped market. They already have the blue packaging. Uh, yeah, it's Crips Ahoy. Um, aren't, sorry, aren't Chips Ahoy cookies? Yeah, but they'll, they'll slip their way into your, into your, like, in your knapsack every once in a while. Yeah, yeah, like, like the little one, like you get like a little. Oh, the little babies? Yeah, yeah, maybe something I think like those that. are cookie crunch, but. All right, I got grundles. <laughs> Gr- grundles are <laughs> like little, cr- little clusters of chocolate. Okay, and uh, and they have it's got like a fun mascot that's like a rodent. I like it a lot. Mm. And I it's like, like it's like get yourself get yourself some grundles. Want a grundle? Have a bundle. Yeah, that, yeah. You have a bundle s- of fundle with grundles. <laughs> okay, I didn't feel like you had to one up me there, but I'm just asking around like for the help. No, I feel like shit. All right, what do you got, brother? Uh, gummy hard boiled egg. <laughs> The yolk, Ugh. the yolk tastes like a yolk, and the white tastes like a white, but they're gummy. Mm. Why don't you make it like taste sweet? Uh, because I don't know. It doesn't say. Okay, that's it. Gummy hard boiled egg. All right, I got six musketeers. <laughs> I like this. Twice as long, half the fun. <laughs> Why is it half the fun? I don't know. It's just like way too much. Like think about how much. If it's like you have to eat the whole thing. Yeah, three musketeers is already like so much nougat. And yeah. like six musketeers is just like six times the nougat. Well, twice the nougat. <laughs> 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 All right. One musketeer is just nougat. Yep. Uh, <laughs> all right. I got. I got. Whopper whoppers. Yep. I like it. They're whoppers. Yep. But it's like a layer of chocolate, but the inside instead of whatever that other shit is is a Burger King whopper. Oh. So <laughs> they taste like a chocolate covered burger. It's a All chocolate right. covered burger. All right. Basically. It's I like Whopper it. Whopper. <laughs> All right. Um, 
I got chocolate too. <laughs> I like a, that. I like that. It's a pitch. That's a page straight out of Will Ellen's book. Um, it's just it's a uh, it's it's the second time they've done it. <laughs> yeah. No, I think it's um, I think this time it's like because there's already brown, there's already like black, there's already white. This time it's like <clears throat> like tan, tan chocolate. It's like coffee colored. I don't know. Coffee colored chocolate. Chocolate too. Chocolate too, baby. I like it. All right. Last one I got is Crazinets. It's All right. Raisin, it's Raisinets, but they're they're craisins instead of raisins. It feels like this might be our worst one yet. <laughs> <laughs> this feels like this, it might be our worst draft ever. This draft is this draft's <laughs> definitely tough. I got a this, <laughs> I got griplets. <laughs> I like griplets. Griplets are taffy balls that stick for longer. So you, you can carry the flavor around all day. <laughs> oh, I hate that. They like stick on your teeth for like, like a while. Like saltwater taffy? Like, yeah, kind of. And like, they just, it's re- it's stickier already. Like, so much stickier. Like that wasn't already, yeah. All right. When I have taffy, I'm like, I wish it's stickier. Yeah, me too. I'm like, I have flavor left so quickly. All right, that was brutal, but let's do God. let's do scary movies that don't exist. I think, I think you're really going to step your game up here, and I think I am too. I hope so. All right. All right, we got scary movies that don't exist. Yep. First one, I've got Don't Look Laterally. <laughs> <laughs> it, the monsters can only kill you if you look anywhere in like a lateral plane, so you have to either be looking up or down. Oh. And it's and you can only like you have to like close your eyes and then look down. Don't look laterally. It's, you bump okay. into stuff, it sucks. All right, I got um My Sister's a Skinwalker. <laughs> okay. He, it's about this family who lives in rural Let's say Idaho. Okay, and they live on uh, an, a, a, um, a Native American land that they was was taken away from these people, and uh, he's realizing that like slowly over time, his sister is a skinwalker. What's a skinwalker? You don't know what a skinwalker is. You a skinwalker is this thing. That Should it, I pull up a picture? Yeah. You have one? Show a skinwalker. Um, yeah, where's the... Anakin skinwalker? They can, they can mimic... Oh, you guys have the remote. They can mimic your... They can mimic, like, your loved ones... What? Scream and, like... And Are they like, real? Is yeah. It, is it oh, in Navajo culture? Yeah, skinwalker. Yeah. But oh. they can, they can like, shift into anything you want. Go oh. to the... Yeah, go to that one. Ew. Yeah, his sister's a skinwalker, baby. Oh, okay. Looks Ooh, weird. That's scary. Did you guys ever play, um, what was that guy's name? Slenderman? Slenderman? No, I didn't know. Um, that was probably during your goth era. I played it. Yeah. I played it like a lot. There's a show called Skinwalker Ranch, and the funniest part is like they've just never seen one. And it's, <laughs> it's been on for like seasons. That's funny. All right, I got, what are the two scariest things? Uh, um, commitment and um, death, yeah. Committing death. Sorry, huh. I interrupted. I put... That's not what I had. Uh, I had <laughs> ghosts in parallel parking. <laughs> so this is paranormal L parking. <laughs> it's a movie about a guy trying to parallel park, but there are there are ghosts everywhere, <laughs> and it's three hours long. And he, it, spoiler alert: he never gets it. He what? he reruns the guy. Why would you spoil it like that? Shit. Um. I got entities, but it's spelled or er, no, no, sorry, entities, <laughs> and it's spelled e n t i t t i e s. It's about a girl with haunted boobs. I like that. Um, I like that. And why are they haunted? Um, she got a, she got a, a reduction, breast reduction, and and <laughs> they were so mad about it that they are turning on her. Who's oh, they? The the boobs. The, the entities. Oh. The entities. The entities. <laughs> her entities turned on her. I like that. Mm. All right. Third one, I got... Uh, wait, I wrote six. Okay, good. I don't know which one I'm taking out. Third one, I got horse boat. An innocent voyage turns into something much more sinister when two innocent women realize they're aboard the horse boat. That's right. The seemingly human captain, crew, and deckhands are all horses. Oh, the boat itself isn't a horse? No, the boat's just like a yacht. 
Uh, but like they were on a guest full of. Have you seen like Spirited Away? Oh, that Away? sounds creepy. Have you ever seen like Spirited yeah. Away when then like the other people are pigs and it's like okay, the scariest thing in the world? Those. Yeah. So imagine you're on a boat out on the island. It seems like like a normal like voyage, yeah. and then you realize everyone slowly is like, how are they like into horses? Oh, yeah, okay. Sounds... So they weren't horses when they got okay, that makes no. Sense. They like get, they masked themselves. Is it they... one of those things where like they they're humans until like they come in contact with the moon and then they like turn into a horse? Yes, but it's not the moon. It's the high seas. Okay, how about you? That sounds very scary. All right, I got. You're gonna like this one, or you're gonna hate it. I got phobias. I like it. It's um, it's a dinner party, and uh, they figure they like have somehow f- they've been all talking about their biggest fears, their phobias, and then one of the people locks them in the house and and makes them do all their thing, all their phobias. <sighs> Phobias. It sounds kind of like Truth or Dare, like vibe. Yeah, that, that movie. Yep. Yeah, it's like I actually that's not or what the plot was originally, and then for some reason I just landed on <laughs> dinner party, and that is just literally Truth or Dare. So. Is that a movie, Truth or Dare? Uh yeah, it's like a dinner party, and this guy like the winner gets them. like most of the people there are there because they like need a large amount of money, obviously, and um they have to do all these like creepy tasks. Got it. All right, I've got Pool Nami. This small Midwestern town never thought a tsunami could could, <laughs> could hit it until pool nami. Uh, the local the local pool <laughs> turns into a tsunami. Why are you backing up? That was a good one. That was funny. Did Lauren give you a face? Lauren has been making a face at you. No, no, I like she's been confused. No, that was good. Sorry, I just like. All right, pool nami. I heard it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> pool nami. This small Midwestern town never thought a tsunami could reach its shores. Yep, because it doesn't have shores. <laughs> but when the local county swimming pool rises up in a great terror, <coughs> the 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 people must work together to survive the pool nami. I love it. It's from the creators of Sharknado. Wow. Yep. Uh, what causes the pool nami? Uh. It's not on here. Full moon. Yeah, f- uh, yeah. Full moon on me. Full. M- I got. I got the girl upside down. <laughs> it's. Uh, I'm. I'm between. There are two plots I was gonna go with. One is like everything on her body is like on the opposites. Like it shouldn't. Like <laughs> like well, everything's on the top should be on the bottom and like vice versa. And she's like this monster that. But like actually a really nice person and people are, are horrible to her. Or, uh, she's just like. Whoever captured her is keeping her upside down, and she and just like, is doing fucking sh- horrible things to her. Okay. Ooh. Kind of like the first one. Yeah, the first one. That's one's a little better. spooky. I, I was also thinking maybe her whole body's normal, but her like her face is upside down. I kind of like that too. Yeah. Creepy. And her feet are on her head. <laughs> <laughs> her feet. No, she's normal, but her feet and her ears are switched. Ugh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> could, what'd, you, what'd you say? <laughs> could, could not be a worse like body part to switch <laughs> yeah. in <your> years. <laughs> uh, all right, my last one is dare to score. It, uh, um, the 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 rap the the fictional this is a fictional football team that I'm making up called the Raptors. The Raptors are a few wins away from the Super Bowl, but they've realized that every player who scored what do you every. The Raptors are a few wins away from a scooper, a scooper bowl. <laughs> <laughs> the Raptors are a few wins away Whoa. from a Super Bowl, but every time one they score a touchdown, that player is brutally murdered after the oh game. My God! So it comes down to like the last minute of the Super Bowl, and like a guy has to decide if he's going to win the game for the team, knowing that his body's going to end up in a lake the next night. Oh, oh wow! That's actually that's probably your best one yet. Yeah. Thank you. All right, I got the decrepit. Okay. Um, I don't know what it's about. <laughs> I like nah, it. I'm just joking. Uh, it's a bunch of people, and they're decrepit. <laughs> and if you get bit by them, then you become decrepit. Okay. And uh, it just is wreaking havoc on the town. I love that. You got anything, Lauren? No. What's up with you today? Dude, this has been the has this been the weirdest episode of all time by far. No, I I think this is a fun one. Has it been? I feel like I do genuinely think like I, I my think, head feels really weird. I think the listeners are gonna like this one. Okay, I don't know. I, I hope just you have guys do. If it's not, definitely been weird, but it, I don't think it's bad. I just think it's weird. It's been sporadic. Um, is that a word I could use? Like you could use it. I, I don't think, know. If, I think you're allowed to use that one. 
cool. Yeah, you could use it. I don't know. Yeah, Check the list. Remember we gave you a list of 50 <laughs> you can use? <laughs> yeah. uh, no, sorry. I don't have any. Um, but. How long have we been recording for? Uh, 59 Wait, minutes, 21 minutes. You guys already do pitches? <laughs> what, Lauren? Did you? Did you fucking forget about Rufumba? Okay. I, no, no. Oh, I remember now. But like. Sitting here, my brain has just been like. Will was praising you for being for doing such a great job, and then just and then you just you just no, they were great. I just forgot. You promise? I promise. You pungle? I know. I loved your pitches. You pinkle? <laughs> you strandberg? Kermit? Yep. Couple crap. Um. Well, hopefully you guys had a great Halloween. Yeah. Mine was fun. Well, it hasn't happened yet. <laughs> oh, it's tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it was yesterday. For the it was yesterday for the listeners, but today it hasn't happened yet. It's oh, tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like a little time warp. Time warp. It's a time All right. Warp. This has been a weird last minute of the pod, but yeah. we had a blast. I hope you guys had fun. Um. All right. We love you. We love, love you, you guys. I and love you all. Uh, we will see you. We'll see you on Wednesday. Oh, with our special guests. Oh, next Wednesday we got our first guest on the pod. We got our first guest on the pod, Mr. Zach and Wally, baby. It's going to be epic. It's It's going to be be awesome, Zoss. All right. Bye, guys. Later, players. Love Love you.